Looking for a powerful movie? Check out Riot in Cell Block 11 from 1954. It shows the tough life in prison, revealing the struggles faced by inmates. The film takes you through a range of emotions, from funny moments to shocking scenes and heart-wrenching situations. Is there a specific part of the movie that stuck with you? Maybe it's the intense prison uprising or the touching conversations between characters that stay in your mind. But wait, there's more. Keep watching for interesting, surprising, and sad facts about the movie. Do you have any personal stories or memories connected to this film? Share them in the comments below. So grab your popcorn and get ready for an exciting journey with Riot in Cell Block 11. It's a movie that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Released in 1954, Riot in Cell Block 11 left an enduring mark on both cinema and society. The movie bravely tackled the harsh realities of the prison system at that time, shedding light on the inhumane conditions faced by inmates and sparking crucial conversations about the need for reform. The film's raw portrayal of social injustice became a driving force for change, inspiring prison reform movements and prompting authorities to reconsider their treatment of those behind bars. Riot and Cell Block 11 played a pivotal role in advocating for improved living conditions and the implementation of rehabilitation programs within the prison system. Even today, the themes explored in the movie still resonate with modern audiences, serving as a reminder of the ongoing struggles within the prison system and the urgent need to address systemic issues. The movie's powerful message of empathy and understanding continues to inspire efforts towards creating a more humane and just society. In conclusion, Riot in Cell Block 11 undeniably made a lasting impact by sparking crucial conversations and inspiring movements for change. Decades after its release, the film's message remains relevant, advocating for a fairer and more compassionate society. Madge Cleveland made her debut in a film alongside Robert Ostrolo, where dangerous prisoners, including a military man who accidentally killed someone in a bar fight, take control of their surroundings. This film is known as Riot in Cell Block 11. Interestingly, Cleveland appeared in another movie with a similar theme, starring Nicolas Cage, titled Con Air. Prior to her appearance in Riot in Cell Block 11, Cleveland was the widower of Catherine McLeod. Riot in Cell Block 11 is a movie from 1954 that draws its inspiration from a real-life event. In April 1952, there was a riot at the state prison in Jackson, Michigan. During this riot, inmates took nine guards hostage for five days. The movie opens with newsreel footage of this actual riot and others like it. Ernie, a character in the movie, may have inspired the naming of the Muppet Ernie on Sesame Street. Played by Phelan, Ernie the taxi driver in It's a Wonderful Life is the rumored inspiration for the Muppet's name. In the film, voice artists often performed multiple roles when dubbing foreign language films into English. This practice extended to Hollywood films where they would replace dialogue, a process known as looping, and also take on multiple roles. The film provides a gritty portrayal of the events surrounding the riot, showcasing the tension and power dynamics between the inmates and guards. It's a stark representation of the harsh realities of prison life and the consequences of institutional neglect. Riot and Cell Block 11 stands as a testament to the ability of cinema to shine a light on important societal issues even decades after its release. In the early 1950s, during a time when rules were strict about what could be shown in movies, Riot in Cell Block 11 managed to hint at topics like homosexuality without directly talking about them. They suggested separating younger prisoners from others because of these rules. Among the actors in the movie, one stood out because he was in a famous movie called Cinderella and also appeared in many episodes of a TV show called Perry Mason. There was a funny movie called One Angry Man where he played a role similar to Perry Mason, but with a twist. This actor was in different kinds of shows and movies showing how good he was at acting. From following strict rules in Riot in Cell Block 11 to being in lots of TV shows, he made a big impact in entertainment. His work in different roles made him important, and what he did will be remembered in the entertainment world. In the Criterion Collection, there's a film called Riot in Cell Block 11, known as Spine 704. It's set in the 1950s and tells a tough story. The main character is a guy who worked in a metal factory. After going to acting school thanks to the GI Bill, he ends up caught in a prison riot. The movie shows how rough life can be for people behind bars and how they fight for what's right. It's a tense movie that shows the struggles and strength of those inside. 
Even though it's an old movie, it still matters today because it reminds us of the problems in the justice system. This was Riot in Cell Block 11, released in 1954, features notable actors such as Neville Brand, Leo Gordon, and Sam Peckinpah. Brand, a decorated Army veteran of World War II, played a role alongside Gordon, who had served time in San Quentin for armed robbery. Peckinpah, a production assistant, hailed from a family with a strong law and order background as his father was a respected judge in Northern California. This connection allowed the film to be shot in Folsom State Prison. In the movie, Brand wore a white wig for his character Whitey, who met his end at the hands of Alan Ladd in Whispering Smith. Additionally, the feminine voice dubbed as Josephine for Tony Curtis in Some Like It Hot was also contributed by one of the actors from Riot in Cell Block 11. These behind-the-scenes details add layers to the film's production and the experiences of its cast members. Riot in Cell Block 11, released in 1954, was a notable film for allied artists, formerly known as Monogram. It achieved both financial success and critical acclaim, which allowed it to remain in theaters until the late 1950s. The lead actor, known for his versatile skills, was frequently sought after during the 1950s and 60s to re-loop dialogue for other actors. This was often necessary to correct issues like foreign accents, lack of English proficiency, or poor line delivery by non-professionals. In some cases, he even redubbed entire roles. Married multiple times, he had daughters from his first and third marriages Mary, Katrina, and Michelle, respectively. Riot in Cell Block 11's success solidified its place in cinematic history, showcasing the talent and dedication of its cast and crew. It remains a significant piece of film history to this day. Riot in Cell Block 11, which came out in 1954, is a movie that shows off the skills of a person who graduated from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in 1939. Over his career, he not only showed he was a great actor, but also did a lot of work with his voice. He did the voices for many movie trailers, like the famous one for Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope in 1977. He also did the voice for the ghost host at Disneyland's Haunted Mansion. Later on, he lived in Sacramento, where he died at 71 because of emphysema. He's buried at East Lawn Memorial Park in Sacramento, Ca. Riot in Cell Block 11, a film from the year 1954, features Neville Brand in a significant role. Brand, known for various roles in both movies and television, gained recognition for his portrayal of Nils Barris in a notable episode of Star Trek. Despite his success, Brand battled post-traumatic stress disorder stemming from his military service and struggled with alcoholism. In addition to his role in Riot in Cell Block 11, Brand had early appearances in the Adventures of Superman series. He played the first character rescued by Superman in the debut episode and returned for major roles in subsequent episodes. Brand's contributions to television and film, including his role in Riot in Cell Block 11, remain notable in the entertainment industry.